Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's our um, 31st podcast here at the Batty Playhouse, and I'm um, really excited to um, name our guest. Uh, my name is Herbert. Jonathan. Ronnie. And Ricardo. Ricardo, he's our new guest here. Um, first time, I think? Right? First time, yeah. Yeah, dude. first yeah. time. Very yeah. first time. I remember my first time. Uh, no, but <laughs> enough, yeah. about, enough about me. Uh, I just got my Biden bucks. Like uh, yesterday, so um, thank you, Biden. Shout out to Camilla, my queen. Um, and yeah, I think we're gonna start using those uh, this our Biden money for what more uh, hiking equipment or oh podcast equipment, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, guac. guac uh, Ricardo says guac. How much do you throw on guac on everything, Ricardo? I went to Best Buy and I lowered in the TV, and then like I told them put some guac on it too, and they're like, "Sir, this is Best Buy. I don't care, man. Just put it on there." That's right, man. Walk on everything. You heard it from Ricardo. Uh, not only that, Ricardo said something about uh, doing these like life hacks, like or what do you mean, like cash hacks? Like you want to oh, explain yeah, it? Yeah. So if you follow, if you follow Cash Up on Twitter or Instagram, and you repost and you repost them and whatnot, <laughs> and then you so you, the notifications will let you know when they're posting. So if you retweet whatever they they post, like for instance, like they did something with Bitcoin, and then they they said if they if people repost it. You get free Bitcoin, and I did that thinking, ah, oh, it can't hurt. And then next thing you know, like a couple hours later, I get ten dollars worth of Bitcoin for free. And I was like, all right, damn, that's what's up, man. How much? How much is ten dollars uh, a Bitcoin? Like a part of Bitcoin? Like what is? What's uh, it's, it's nothing, dude. It's fucking. It's nothing. It's like point zero 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 nineteen. It's like, it, like it, it's know. better than nothing, man. It's I'll tell you, dude. I don't have it's any like a Bitcoin. Fart. Of a fucking coin. Hey man, you might you might wake up tomorrow. And you'll you'll be a billionaire. Yeah. That's true. You am I hey, the the you might it might just go high, you know, skyrocket. But you know, not only that, like I'm happy. Like everybody, go, you know, there's so many jokes out there about stimulus checks. You know, like oh, like like the walk the walk one. Yeah. There's all these like what like I'm at PetSmart and I'm asking for the line or or just like funny ones like or my mom says uh, put the chicken out like. They take out the chicken so I could cook it, and you're like, no, I don't want to take it out. But, you know, there's some people out there that really need this money, you know? I know 1400 is not that much because that's what – that's rent in California. Like, California is expensive true. to yeah. live. It's not even rent. My mom's – How much you – My mom's apartment is not even – it's more than 1400 Yeah. It's more, right? Sure. Okay, so it's not even rent, right? It's it, it still helps you for something, right? I'm not saying for a lot. And there's a – I feel like the Sydney – it's helping some people and, you know, some people are just getting there for, I guess, for fun, I guess, you know what I mean? But overall, like, it's not a joke, you know, like, you just enjoy the money, save the money or whatever, uh, help others in need. Uh, we're still going through tough times. I know the numbers went down for COVID. Everything's opening back up. Did you guys hear that LA Fitness open back up? I know that's our headquarters, Herbert. So what's up with HR going? Like, uh, please come say hi to, oh wait, actually it's very limited, right? Like, how? It's 15%. Capacity only. 15? 15. 15. One, five. One, Wait, five. What's normal capacity? Actually, yeah, what is normal capacity? Like 200? 100? 100? 100%. 100%. 100%. <laughs> normal capacity is 100%. My bad. What's like normal like amount of people? Like, uh, well, let's say if, if it's, if it's, how many, a gym party like takes around like what? 200, 200 people? So 200 people only times 15%. What is that? You know, just do your math. That's, you know, 30 people only. And then it also depends how big that freaking gym rat is He's like, yeah this, he casts a soup he casts you know? two people <laughs> that's true man if there's a bodybuilder that's that's two or two heads already and there's if, if there's a guy that's two heads already guys have two heads that's yeah right. we're gonna we're gonna cut this out don't worry basically no, 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 no. <laughs> we don't cut this out we, we love we love everything you know um so it's 15 capacity i mean uh yeah come say hi to us if you do see us it's a rare event if you do see us we're kind of like uh well we'll, well, we'll we'll hint this. We do stay in the 626 area. So LA, any LA fitness. Uh, in a 10 mile radius. The 626 area, we might be there. Uh, and you want to come say hi to us, please like walk up slowly, like tippy toe. And like, like kind of like poke us from the back and we could be like, oh, hey. But like, don't, don't be uh, like. From six feet away. Yeah, six feet away, please. Like use your like selfie stick or something. I know you guys, I, I know you gym rats. Use selfie sticks to like work out, you know what I mean? Take pictures. We used to do that back in the day. That's rookie stuff, but we still love you guys, support you guys. Uh, not only that, though, yeah, uh, numbers are down, like I said. 
Um, a lot of uh, hospitals, like, you know, just they have empty rooms now, you know, for people. So that's kind of cool thing uh, for people that are like not have not, not they don't have COVID. Uh, but guess what? Uh, we are also going to do another peak this this week. I know last week we did a peak. Uh, it was what Iron Mountain. Uh, we did it with Hiker Evolution and We Explore Earth. And it was so cool because we were able to do 15.6 plus or minus, I think plus two miles extra because the, the, the GPS was kind of wrong. Like it lied to us. Uh, and we did start at 2.30 a.m. And we finished until 5 p.m. So, yeah. And we did not get paid. It was fun, though. Good adventure. If you guys want to join us to hike, let us know. <clears throat> DM us. But we are going to do this hike coming up. Um, you're going to see it. I know this this uh, podcast comes after the hike. But it's called Rattlesnake Peak. It's located in Azusa Canyons. Uh, it's around like 8 miles. And it's 4,000 feet gain. Uh, we are going to have more baddies there. Um, I know Herbert is going to join us. He has to join us. He has to. Uh, that's not confirmed. I have a lot of paperwork. Um, it's almost the end of the month. I have to do like uh, inventory of the baddies. Oh, no, dude. That's <clears throat> yeah. We have a lot of applications. I have interviews. I mean, you can't just throw me into a hike and expect me to go. How about you interview people on the hike? Um, that's not, I have a, I have an office. I have an office space for that. So I will continue to use it where there's air conditioning. You work from home. <laughs> just saying, you work at the, you work, you work in the mountain, not from home. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, we, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we, we, my, Herbert might do it. Uh, Ronnie, I think he is going to do it. And I'm Ricardo, like, I'm like 80% sure. About that. Yeah. It, Ricardo's 80? here. 80. Yeah, 80%. Ricardo, are you going to do it? If, if Ronnie does it or Herbert does it, you will do it, right? It depends how drunk I get on Friday. No, no, he's not, not going to drink that. Sorry, we guys, baddies don't drink. Uh, yeah, we, we're sober here. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you heard that little, uh, what is it, opening can. The only thing we drink is protein shakes and uh, V8. V8? Yeah. Oh, and hold on. Hey, Herbert, it makes you. No, can you, tell the, can you tell me your addiction of orange juice? Oh, I guess we can go back to memory lanes. Um, yeah, I mean, as a... As a young adult, I was uh, heavily, you know, some people are addicted to crack cocaine, heroin. Uh, I sh- my poison was orange juice. Uh, orange vitamin C was my thing. Pulp, I don't do that. No pulp bullshit. That's for children. So I honestly, you, you know, I would, uh, do, you, do you remember like the Tropicana? There's like several brands. There's, I think there's Tropicana and then I forget the other brands. There's like the Mexican brands and then there's uh, the Kirkland Costco brand. Costco is the best orange juice if you're into the same uh, poison as me. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's how I gained most of my weight. I'm not kidding. Like, I, I, like sugar was my thing. <clears throat> well, guess what? I'm going to ask you guys a question. Uh, we'll start off with uh, Ricardo. Hey, Ricardo, uh, what's the number one uh, fruit cons- most consumed, like, in the U.S. or, like, in the world? What do you, what do you think? What do you think? Bananas? bananas? Okay, bananas. bananas. Uh, Herbert? Mangoes? Okay. Uh, I, I can't say it, but Ronnie? You already uh, know, but you said bananas. I'm going to say bananas, yeah. And guess what? It was mangoes. So HR man, you got it. But is mangoes mangoes in the number one? Wait, most consumed fruit. So orange juice, sorry, apple juice, sorry. Or you apples. would think it's oranges because Herbert was like freaking. That's true. That's true because you're addicted to orange. Back in the day, yeah. Well, like I didn't even. I never bought a, a apple like MacBook because I was just so like I was just so into oranges. Like, like <laughs> anything other than that was like no thank you. Huh. Mm-mm. Well, guess what? We're going to be hiking with mangoes. Uh, so, and actually... Uh, we might be selling at the side of a freeway, maybe. We might sell some yeah, mangoes. We, uh, we need the extra cash. We need podcast equipment. You know, you, you expect that... Uh, so what was down? Like, uh, oh yeah, COVID cases was down? COVID cases. Yeah, down. our views are down. So, uh, uh, maybe we should bring that up. I know COVID's like a big deal and all, <laughs> but, you know, this podcast is way more important than some uh, disease that uh, some, that was probably made in Camilla Harris's like backyard. Yeah, and not only that, COVID, <laughs> COVID twenty, COVID twenty one. We should get twenty one views. That's true. We know like twenty two, twenty one views. We don't have twenty one subscribers. I mean, we need we need to pump Come on, guys. Up. Like, I, I don't know if I need to talk to Putin, somebody. We need to get some bots working. We got to do something. Yeah. So, uh, actually, uh, if we have Ricardo here, uh, what's your what's your point of view of uh, gyms opening up? Like, do you, do you plan on going to the gyms? Uh, I know now, <clears throat> and I know you never been to the gyms. Like, really, like you're going into it, but do you plan on? Like maybe getting a membership soon? I got one food that got canceled because of COVID. Wait, what gym? What'd you get? A Planet Fitness. Okay. Are uh, they open now? What? what no, a- I don't know. It's still not open now. But yeah, I would want to go back and like actually be and have a routine. That's something I never had. It was a gym routine or anything like that. But if they open up, yeah. I mean, you know I, what? I'll, I'll use it. 
instead of having that monthly fee go to waste. You know what helps the routine to like to stick to a routine is orange juice. Is it <laughs> orange juice is part of it? Yeah, it's like if there's a if there's a list, it's definitely top ten. But I think uh, number one is a, a strong male figure, and I think the baddies could help in that. You know, a strong male presence um, that could force you to do good. Like I mean, force you to do more than you think you can do. Yell at you, call you, you know, all these names that you probably deserve me to hear, like dumbass. And like <laughs> the sound of your piss sounds feminine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> something like that. No, what we could do though, actually, uh, uh, since we do have the hookups, not the hookups, but we do have like Ronnie. No, I don't, don't want to pay no free. No, money. but Ronnie, yeah. Ronnie has a. I used to have the past, right? I can, they can, I can bring in someone. Yeah, you, he could. Ronnie could bring in someone. So maybe, maybe two out of the week, and whenever he has time, we could take you in, and you can see what you got. You know, put in some work for the baddies. Like you can do push ups. I, I got it. We're on stress, I got this. I got. I can bring it. You bring it? Yeah. All right. Not to know, but... I'm bringing it to the streets. But, um, so, so you don't... Do you plan on going to back to the gym, though? Like, do you, are you scared of, of coronavirus? Yeah, man. You, haven't, you didn't get it, though, did you? I feel like I got it around this time last year, before people knew about testing and all that. So, uh, so you had it? I'm pretty sure, because I was Did it sick, hit you hard? I was sick for about, like, like, two weeks, and then for a month after, I had this pain in my chest. I couldn't get couldn't get it like it would not go away and like when i would exhale i, I would get all wheezy in that it lasted for about a month and yeah like i got uh, scared i thought i had pneumonia or something sure. i went to the i went to the e like to the er i got checks x-ray x-rays and all that i said my lungs were fine but yeah it was just like as a side effect so i've never been sick like that so i i'm pretty sure it was covid ah uh, yeah well it yeah. was like i never had that pain that Sharp pain that when I would exhale, like I start wheezing and wheezing, you know, and like I would start coughing. You just just exhaling. You never got it, huh, Ronnie? No. Yeah, I never got it either. I got it, but it, it, we don't talk about that. Maybe yeah, it's like we don't talk about that. But uh, we'll start <laughs> with this. Uh, are are you guys gonna get the shot? Maybe all my family's getting it. My brother's gonna get it tomorrow. My my stepdad got it last <clears> week, <throat> and yeah, I'm, I'm think me yeah, I'm I'm waiting to get it last to be honest. I think I think I'm gonna get it, uh, cause uh, well I'm a utility worker, but I want to get it just to have. Not only that, I feel like, like we talked about this before. I think to, you need to have it in order to travel. Yeah, I, I feel like there's gonna be some country that events, like, events, yeah, yeah. yeah. I you just know, need to look into like how to, an appointment or like how to go about it. You know, mm-hmm. do you guys know anything? Or? Oh, I do know that if you go to Los Angeles, Memorial, Los Cajones, Memorial Park actually is doing vaccines right now. Oh yeah, Memorial Park. Yeah, I saw them. Memorial Park and really? Azusa. If you guys if you want, uh, if you guys know where it's at. But uh, if you guys want a uh, uh, want to be vaccine, just go to Google or there's a TikTok how to make a want to be vaccine like card. Or you could just go to the Cajones in LA. What? What? Is somebody in the Cajones selling vaccines? No, no. What you do is just a card. It's uh, just a card. How are they gonna? You get the card and you get put your name and you put like when you got it. It's a it's just a card. Oh, so you can travel and stuff. Yeah, you can travel. Then they're not gonna be like, let me see your blood. Let me see that. Let me see your antibodies. Yeah, let me see your antibodies. Like they're not gonna test that for you. Sorry what guys. If, what if they ever like make some time think, like si- like something like that mandatory with like oh we gotta get a blood test so you have so we know you have this and this and that before you travel. That'd be kind of crazy. That be that would be crazy. Yeah. Um, I think no one would travel. I will tell you. I that. don't know. I mean, people have to travel. Well, talking about traveling though, uh, we do have a. Uh, something opening up that a lot of people like here in California and in the world and it's Disneyland. Disneyland? Yeah, Disneyland is opening up on April 30th. I heard that too. But and uh, we're going we're gonna to do a meet and greet. Yeah, we're going to do a meet and greet in Disneyland actually, but we don't have the pass so we're going to be outside the gates and if yeah. you guys do have a pass or hookups to get inside, let us know. We'll be more than happy to go inside with you guys. But it's April 30th and they're going to only do the same thing as LA Fitness, 15% capacity. And it's only for California residents. So oh. guess what? That's cool because then that's that means, cool, yeah. well, not really cool because there's a lot of people who want to go. Less, you know? uh, foreigners. Uh, you know, I, every single no, time. I, just, I, just, I love the that's foreigners. Residents. <laughs> that's my favorite Success. F word. Foreigners. That's, I love it. <laughs> but the thing is, have you ever, uh, I, I love those people that have the stickers, uh, you know, that has the little like AP and it says annual pass. Yeah. It just says AP. I never knew what an AP yeah, was. I, I never I, thought. I never knew either until like recently. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I was like, what the fuck do these people have with AP? Like, is it the, the club or what the fuck is this? <laughs> but I never knew it stood for annual pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's AP and uh, 
It doesn't even look cute. It's just a- AP, yeah, it's and then with, and then with the with the, the Mickey uh, the Mickey outline, you know the yeah, and and then funny. and then uh, everybody everybody and their moms have it. So exactly. I mean, it's pretty cool, I guess. But wait, I heard um, you're not allowed to like scream on rides. Yeah, like, roller coasters, roller coasters. Like what? Even like the Six Flags? Is this just Disneyland or what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, roller like, coasters. No, no screaming allowed. Wait, like, is it because of like your like, turn? Yeah, Frank or something. Is it because you're projecting? How many colors? Rob one. Yeah. How many colors? I think. Wait, who made this rule up? Like, well, it idea. says no screaming on California roller coaster. State guidelines say. And um, what is it? Why? I, I believe maybe when you scream, you like spit or you know. Oh come on! No, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, that was just. I would guess. Like talking though, you know, like. That's yeah. ridiculous. So you, you ever seen like the slow motion like? Like thermal cameras when a, of a person sneeze, how yeah, far yeah. that sneeze actually goes. Like it travels, like that's what they say, six feet. It yeah, goes because it, it travels like around like that, that six feet. And know? it goes around the world twice every time somebody sneezes. It's true. <laughs> Stop. No, dude, Einstein like invented. Like, he, oh he my god. Up. Well, it says it comes out the other way. <laughs> oh, that's even that's like four. That's times. even deadlier, dude. Yeah. You know, you know, new. <clears throat> it wasn't even a uranium. It was a yeah, some spark. <laughs> well, it wasn't at home. Yeah. It was just sort of gas. Yeah. It says right here, we're opening guidelines call for businesses to limit activities such as singing and shouting, which are known to increase the risk of spreading viruses. So, yeah. Sorry. Uh, How no. are you going to tell me not to fucking scream on the happiest place on earth? Yeah. To yeah. yell and hey, hey, shout. Keep, keep, keep it down over there. Keep it down. I know. Why are you screaming, dude? <laughs> we're all going to get coronaviruses over here. We don't have no masks. No, I'm saying we do wear masks. That's why, that's why you hear the audio like kind of bad. It's because we're wearing masks. Uh, <laughs> yeah but not only that so yeah so we have good news you know like i, I said hey stimmies hit so go get your an- ap pass your annual pass for uh disneyland go support them because we're only california you know you live in california and uh oh support. guess what so tax tax deadline you know it got pushed it got pushed uh another month uh so guess what instead of whatever april is gonna be may 17th uh, also, just FYI, don't quote us if we're saying something because we, we don't really know. We're not financial advisors and all that. So we're just here to have fun and kind of educate you guys. But it might be right or wrong. Yeah, if you're here for like uh, social commentary, this is the place. Political talk, that's our favorite. Or uh, yeah, general like fruit juices, like orange juices. Come here. Come to the Batty Podcast. Yeah, so yeah, but don't wait. Don't wait to do your taxes. Uh, you know, go, go do it now. There's different ways you could do it. You know, you could do it yourself. Are we going to open a tax office? Like to, no, we're not going to open up a tax no? office. No, but Ronnie does. Uh, well, you do Turbo Taxes, right? Yeah. Do you recommend I it? I have my own office. <laughs> so yeah. Do you recommend it though? Charge cheap. The, do you recommend it though? Oh yeah, it's. I mean, honestly, okay. Like the way I look at it, if you don't have a house, if you're not married, if, like your whole, I don't know, financial situation is not too complicated. Like TurboTax is actually free. Many people don't know that. I know. No, that. many people don't also don't know that you can just go to the IRS website and file taxes there for free. Also. Oh, IRS. You did straight to the IRS. Yeah. Yeah. See. Okay. There we go, guys. <clears throat> yeah. I know that either. But no, yeah. I know the thing with TurboTax though is that it'll try and push you to like, oh, like get premium or whatever for like $40 or whatever. Yeah, but you just, you just poor, click, poor no, no, no. That to me too. And it's like, no, like I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And then you submit it, e-file it, and that's it. Call it a day, get your stimmy, boom. Well, yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of avenues uh, to do your taxes. Uh, don't be afraid to do your taxes. Please do your taxes because the IRS, uh, you don't you don't mess around with the IRS. Uh, straight up, they'll come after you. Like the baddies will come after you too. And they came, like they came out after Al Capone, man. Yeah, that's, that's how they got down. it. Um, yeah, yeah so you know I'm looking at here. You know the news. Like I always read the news every morning with my co- a cup of coffee. Uh, <laughs> shout out to the reverse <laughs> orangutan. tank. Uh, we love the. <laughs> well, I'm just saying like I love drinking coffee, man. Yeah. I don't want co- coffee, not not the other word. Uh, but every single morning, you know, I read the news on LinkedIn. Uh, I saw that there's a there's a high uh, rate of college admissions. Uh, college admissions are going up. You know, the the admit you know the rate like there's people like applying for it like students. Uh, why don't they apply to the Baddies Club? Like why can't they just join us, Herbert? Uh, 
First of all, because I don't think we pay anything. Um, we'll give him a certificate. We have certificates. We'll give you stickers. That's the that. We'll, 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 <laughs> we'll give you a pack of bag stickers, and you can probably trade that for gum. I don't know. In the street. <laughs> Actually, uh, you know what we're gonna do with our stickers? I think we were gonna do an NFT. On NFTs? Oh, let's do, let's do, let's do it. oh my god, this guy, you just, <laughs> you're not gonna do NFTs. NFTs would be cool, actually. I mean, well, we, what do you mean? We can I own know. a property, we can own a digital property, right? That's what that yeah. is. Yes, yes. I'll do an NFT on the on the Daddy's that's, logo. That's the hot thing right now, NFTs. Yeah, right? NFTs. Do Jake Paul sign that NFT? NFT. Wait, what's an NFT, Herbert? Go. Hey, yeah, what's an NFT, Herbert? I can't, I don't want to go in depth because I really don't know. I just know the basics of it. Okay, I just know, like, let's, it's say, it. let's say if I make a GIF, I can own that GIF, right? And that's an NFT. It's a digital something, yeah. Non fungible token. Yeah. It's a digital token. It's basically a cryptocurrency, much like Bitcoin and, you know. It's like banking a house on The Sims, and that's your house? Uh, no. It's a. It's like a serial. It's like a barcode, like a serial number. It's digital property. Yeah. It's digital yeah. property. Like, like it's you, a feature. the feature. It's actually blowing up right now, too. Like, So you could, like, buy space in digital property. Like, oh, like, I own this. Piece yeah, of but isn't the internet just infinite fucking space? That's that's the thing. So yeah. why would you want to own it if it's infinite? well? Because it's yours. Like if someone could go on it, like oh, you would have to you know talk to me about it. It's just like a website. Like I think it just comes down to like ownership. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's a price to it. You know? it, it. It's it's they're saying like it's dumb because like you can literally Google that gift or that meme or whatever, yeah. and you'll be like, well, Herbert owns it, but I could I could literally copy, it. you know. Yeah, yeah. Just screenshot it. But he has no, he, but he has the no original. But it's mine. See, that's the thing. It's the well, original. This, this is probably also like copyright, you know, like. Um, so I can't. So like, yeah, yeah. if some website uses like to say the GIF I own, they would have to pay me royalties or something, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or like, like in YouTube, you know, you can't play music because obviously that's copyright material. Mm-hmm. And so if some YouTuber wants to use your fucking GIF or something, then they would have to talk to you about it. Or you can sue the fuck out of them. Mm-hmm. How the hell will you know if they use it though? Um, it's probably gonna be some like check stuff where like YouTube would have some algorithm where like it checks like they do it for music they, they would have something yeah. to check. Oh, okay. But NFTs is a new thing. Um, if you guys want to search it, it's on YouTube. It's everywhere. Yeah. So donate to the baddies so we can start our own NFTs. Uh, we want to get into the orange business and um, mango. mango business, and hopefully we could uh, we want to do some type of. Um, Funding for local gangs. Um, I think that's our next step. We Stop. really okay. This is this is still on the books. Uh, we're we're not no. This is just something on the whiteboard. You know, we yeah, always erase it. So it's, it's, not really, it's not set in stone. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not set in stone. And it's not an NFT yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but bros, uh, going back to NFTs, uh, do your research. Uh, the thing is, I do want to invest in NFTs, but the NFTs, uh, you know, what if it's like bitcoin you know bitcoin was what in the beginning it was what like how, how, like last year it was like low now it's like fifty thousand or fifty six it was like it was like 200 bucks when we were in high school dude. yeah it was it was One 200 bitcoin. bucks like 2017 it was like i didn't even bitcoin. hear about bitcoin in high school I, yeah. I didn't hear about it until i was like in college until i graduated yeah yeah until was, like the bitcoin bubble was like about a burst but it just yeah i remember the was, peak there was like I a lot oh. like five hundred bitcoin see but how how would he know though how it you was know. it was two hundred dollars back in the day. You think in high school I'll be like, yeah, let me buy one Bitcoin. Two hundred dollars, like, bro, we're not even working. Yeah, well, it's like it's like stock, bro. Like, well, it's digital currency. Like, it that's it's like I think it's like it has value because let's see, it has value placed on it by people, right? Like, if people invest yeah. in it, yeah, yeah, it'll go. It's up. like more people invest in it, more like it will, like you start. Yeah, climbing. once once like like we see more shops like accepting Bitcoin. Once we see like I'm if it hits, some money to Bitcoin, right if now. you can get a bank and withdraw Bitcoin, then I mean that's yeah. Boring. I think it's becoming more like accepted mm-hmm. in society too. Because before it was like, oh, it's mainly tied to like the dark web. You know, people buy like oh yeah, oh drugs and like guns, like. On yeah. the Silk Road, you know, it was tied to that. It had like a negative, like. Uh huh. Yeah, because uh, yeah, that's true. Because you could trade it anywhere <clears throat> around the world. And, and yeah, it's not really traceable, you know. Oh, oh no! It, shit, yeah. my phone died. <laughs> there's a. <laughs> yeah, there's a, no, you could actually like check a uh, like uh, what's it called? Um, there's a transaction history of Bitcoin. Like there's you can of course there's no name to it, but yeah. yeah. Let's say if you can if you use your wallet and then you buy something like say oh yeah, this wallet exactly bought this with this much Bitcoin. Thing. Hmm blockchain yeah oh uh zcash is no i forget this is a other big crypto ship but zcash is like untraceable it doesn't hmm. have any zcash uh, uh yeah. i never i never heard about zcash but 
Um, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Zcash, Baddies coin, Ethereum, like yeah, Ethereum. Oh, we should get, we should get our own coin. Yeah, we should get Baddies coin up and running because uh, if we don't, if we don't get on this high, high coin or high coin, yeah. high coin, yeah. Baddies coin, and the way yeah, you can you get, get the way you can get more money by hiking is by, by hiking and you have a tracker on there and you get money like cool. that. Oh, it's damn! Well, that's yeah. my idea, fool. If you want to, you, you know, gotta buy it off of me right now. So I'll give I'm you a nice price for uh, two point five billion dollars right now, because you know that's gonna blow up later on. No, no. But actually, <laughs> did, I, I don't know if we told you guys, but we're actually in uh, Florida right now. If you guys haven't known, uh, we did move to Florida for a little bit. Uh, we're taking some time off. Uh, Russian and Gators. Yeah, we're trying to get away from uh, California, right? We're, yeah, we're visiting Jeff's, uh, Jeff Epstein's house. We're actually thinking about buying it, too. Yeah, so we're doing, you know, we're doing small things. Uh, yeah, we all put in our uh, stimulus check together. Uh, we finally we're have a my, my, my stimulus check. <laughs> 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 you put yours together, bro. <laughs> but we ended up doing a good thing. Like, we're, yeah, we're here in Florida. You hear that? We're, we're having fun. We're having a good time. We're popping bottles, uh, you know. Let's throw on matcha. That was matcha. He drinks matcha. Uh, actually, it was a truly. We'll be real with you. We, we do drink some hard seltzers for a good time. You know? Celebrating like um, spring break. It's Thursday. Well, not only that. <laughs> can we give some shout outs to people out there? But we'll start with this. Uh, you know, for our number one listener out there, Maribel, you know, <laughs> thank you for listening to us. Uh, we're going to give you a sticker out there. We're going to give you more than one sticker. Uh, we'll drop it off. We're actually going to give you money. So we're actually, yeah, uh, we're going to, our favorite yeah, We're going to give you Bitcoin. We're going to give you cash. Um, it's going to come out of Jonathan's pocket. No, no, we're not doing that. But we'll, we'll, <laughs> stop. We'll, we'll give you for sure stickers. Uh, maybe a keychain. Uh, we'll throw one in. Uh, but thank you for listening to us. Uh, I really appreciate that. You know, we here at the Baddies headquarters. We all talk about you. My left and, uh no, we're not going to give no AirPods. Uh, but yeah, but <laughs> no, just my level. <laughs> whoever whoever wants to, uh, like I said, guys, hit us up. We have stickers. We have some stuff. We have merch. We have merch. just sitting here, guys. Like we have a whole stockpile. Yeah, and it's it 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 just waiting for someone like you to be wearing it or to be rocking the sticker. Uh, the stickers are really cool on your car. Uh, Hydro Flask. Uh, face. Where else? Um, laptop. Laptop. Uh, your window. House, yeah, house. It's like we're just naming. On a stop sign, stop sign. No, 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 we don't do it. We don't do tagging. Animals, no animals. We love animals. So. Wait, what are we talking about? I honestly don't know. <laughs> I thought we were just naming things. Putting stickers on something. Oh yeah, animals. Yeah. No, no, it won't stick on animals. Biden. Uh, but yeah, if you're if you if we got any uh, people uh, listening from DC, please uh, give a sticker to Biden. That would be great. Keychain. Yeah, but um. Slap the shit on his mask. Yeah, but we we do we do we do love you guys. Uh, thank you guys uh, for so much for the support. Uh, our numbers are going up. Uh, we appreciate every single one of you. We do see every single one of you, and we know who you are. Uh, we are going to be uh, like I said, hiking more, uh, doing more events out there, cleanups for sure. Stay aware because we're going to do a cleanup in April. I'm going to announce it now. Um, I still got to talk to the baddies uh, here at the headquarter right now at the, in the moment after this podcast. But we are going to do some cleanups and. Um, not only that, uh, Ricardo, can you just give a little spiel of, uh, are your experience with the baddies, uh, repelling? Oh yeah, that was really cool. It was something that I've never experienced before. And at first I was very skeptical because, you know, I didn't think that this little f- tiny rope would, would, uh, like would, would support my body weight on the, on the edge of this cliff. And it's just scary feeling because, like, once you look down, it's nothing but a straight fall. And then all, all you have to do is rely on the hook system that, I guess, I don't know who put these hooks into the, drill these hooks into, into, the, into the rock face. Apparently, it's like the city or whatever. But you have to literally rely on that little hook not detaching from that rock to save your life. So that was, like, something that's really scary. But you have to get past that. And once you get past that, you just have faith in your equipment and that's what the baddies tell me to do and once i did that repelling was was really easy but it was also very uh, scary at the same time but once you go down a few times it's it's really fun yeah it's uh, fun and, it's really fun don't and, you like to go down yeah <laughs> i like to go down repelling on the mountain not not down on anything you know but <laughs> ricardo ricardo and kiro joined us um they're really good friend of ours uh, ricardo and kiro i'm happy that you guys came with us 
And I, like I said, guys, like, hey, you saw them? They didn't even have their own gear. We su we support them with our gear, you know? We have our own ropes. We have our own helmets, our harnesses, and we make sure that they're safe and, you know, nothing happens to them. Uh, we even made coffee in the mountain with the oh, water yeah. in the mountain. That was good the mountain. coffee. Yeah. That was some good coffee. We did that with the water, right? The waterfall. We Remember, mm -hmm. we got the water from the side. It was fresh. Uh, we boiled it. Don't worry, guys. We boiled it. We made sure that there's no, you know, anything on it. No coronavirus in no it? No coronavirus on it, for sure. And we had our drone. We did take some drone footage of them. And they got some good footage. And I wouldn't doubt it that Ricardo probably got like 100 followers on Instagram just because of that video of... Him. Now, just now he got he got people asking him where where the waterfalls are at, which we don't mind telling you guys, but we do want you guys to be safe and know what you're doing before you go and explore. Uh, so always watch YouTube videos. Uh, talk to us. Uh, don't be afraid. And like I said, guys, thank you guys for listening. Uh, follow us on Instagram. You know, YouTube uh, subscriber, right? We need subscribers and Spotify too. And if you want stickers, hit us up. You want to hike? Hit us up. You want to work out? Hit us up. You want to cycle? Hit us up. You want to play tennis? Hit us up. You want to run? Hit us up. Nah, don't hit us up for that. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, you want to eat? And you want to have friends? Hit us up. Yeah. Uh, I think the, the thing uh, we like the most is when people like uh, talk to us. I think yeah, that's we, we want to know that people are there, people are listening, and people enjoy the stuff that we put out. All right, guys. I think having said that, I hope you guys have a good one.